Google search can be obsolete. It can just replace any search engine on your browser or in your daily life. I'm talking about the new release of ChatGPT search. On the day 8 of 12 days of OpenAI, OpenAI has just released the advanced search in the ChatGPT. Search was already available on the ChatGPT but it was for plus user. Right now, they have announced three major updates on this ChatGPT search. But I'm going to tell you five important things you need to know about this ChatGPT search release and make sure you watch the last one because that one is important for all the users of the ChatGPT. So make sure you watch the last one. Absolutely important. So let's see the demo how to use this ChatGPT search. So I'm going to show what it looks like to search in ChatGPT. So you just start typing a query that you might type into a traditional search engine. So let's say, what are some good events in San Francisco this weekend? So as you type that, if I hit the Enter button here or press Send, ChatGPT will automatically decide whether this question requires up-to-date information from the web. So it can automatically determine that. However, we also added this Search the Web icon. So if you explicitly click this button, ChatGPT will always use the latest up-to-date information. So this is really, really mind-blowing. ChatGPT, looking at the question, can determine whether to use the search or not. But sometimes it's like we want to force ChatGPT to, hey, always do the search before giving the result. And here comes the use of that uh, globe icon with the search written there. Creation from the web. So let's give it a shot. OK, so it's searching the web, and you get back an answer. And you're going to see rich visual images and lists. This can be really mind-blowing because on the Google, you just get the links of different, different websites with a simple message. But now what you can see here is the real link with the metadata and the image and everything you need to know plus the summary you obviously want. Your result can also show the video right inside the chat of the chat GPT. Let's see how this is going to look like. So let's see what we get. So here we scroll down, we get great rich visual images, uh, Mufasa the Lion King from Disney. And right within chat GPT, you can just start playing the video. So we're really just making the ChatGPT experience that you know better with up-to-date information from the web. See, this is really, really useful thing. Because what if you are having the conversation about one thing and entire things is available inside your chat? You can directly go scroll up or down. You don't have to just go to the history and see what I did, what I searched, what was the result I got. Everything is in the one place, which is which is, I believe, is the productivity boost for your daily searching thing. But the next one is my favorite because I always want to have this feature on my browser. So right now, whenever you search on the browser, it just return out the Google result if you set the Google as your default search engine. But now, you, what you can do is you can have the chat GPT search as your default search engine on your browser. It's mind-blowing and a crazy step from ChatGPT to kill the Google search. Let's see the demo now. So one is, since our launch to Plus users, we've been really surprised at how many people are really excited to use this as their default search engine in their browser. And so what you can do is you can just go to the top. Let me show you. You just go here to the top and actually click here and make it your default search engine. So I've already done that. So let's say you just want to get to where you're going on the web. So let's say you type Netflix. So today we're just making it a lot faster when you know where you want to go on the web. So ChatGPT gives you great, highly relevant answers with clear cited sources, but sometimes you really just want to go somewhere, and that's what we're making faster. So let's try something like hotel booking websites right from the browser bar. So now, those sites will come in ahead of the rest of the answer, so you can just go to wherever you might want to go to. See all the links in line from the sidebar as well. Wow, that's crazy. You saw that? It's just going to change how you use your ChatGPT as well as how you search the web. But you know what? If you are on your mobile, if you're using the ChatGPT application, then there is a crazy stuff which you can do. So on the search result, you might want to get to somewhere and you just want the direction. So instead of opening the map or as a standalone application, you can directly open the map right inside the chat conversation. See this demo. And if you click the map button here, you can also see all of these businesses right in the iPhone app with the native uh, Apple Maps as well and click around. So a fully uh, native Apple Maps experience right here with ChatGPT's intelligence. Super. So you see, 
what they're actually trying to do is they just don't want you to leave the chat GPT or your chat GPT application. Searching is inside the chat GPT. Video watching is inside the chat GPT. Navigation maps is inside the chat GPT. They don't want you to use any other thing instead of chat GPT application, which is really, really crazy. But this search is not just limited to the conversation in the text format. It is also available in the voice mode or even in the video mode. But let's see the demo they have shown for the voice mode. To cold. Can you tell me what's the weather in Zurich today? Today in Zurich, expect partly sunny skies with a high of 47 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 29 degrees. It's currently clear and around five degrees Celsius. Don't forget to bundle up. Hey chat. Uh so see here what what it actually is doing behind this conversation is a text so if you have used this uh, voice conversation with the chat gpt once you finish this all the conversation from you and the chat will be in the text format so obviously this should be the simple thing to do they just convert your voice into text and then convert back the result to the voice note which is simple stuff so yeah but it's pretty mind-blowing that you don't have to write anything you just say and you get the real-time data just from the internet but i told you this is the announcement which you need to make sure if you are a free user because chat gpt is available to free users also but with a catch you just need to log in into the chat gpt then you will say what's the point with that so see you can also use the chat gpt without login just go to chatgpt.com and then start just using the chat gpt conversation but to use some advanced features you need to get login and then start using the search you don't have to pay for that let's hear from kevin and third and most importantly we're Starting today, rolling out search to all logged in free users globally on every platform where you use ChatGPT. And about logged in free users. So you all know you don't need an account to use ChatGPT. You can just come and get started. But some of our best features like search and Canvas, you do need an account for. It's all free, but you, you not just get an account, you get higher rate limits. So you get a much better product. So come in, get an account, try out everything that we're shipping here. Uh, we're super excited about it. So. So why they are asking for the logging in? Because obviously this is the game of data. They want every information and it is also beneficial for you. If you're doing something, your chat will be saved. You can start conversation later. You can do lots of amazing stuff. So please go and log in and start using this chat GPT amazing search feature. And let me know in the comment section if Google search will be obsolete in the future or not. But for these kind of amazing videos, just Hit subscribe and don't forget to like this video. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.